Hey, this is Father James Misko back with Coffee with the Collars with Father Doug Jeffers. And we're glad you're with us this morning. As you can see by the Advent wreath, Father, we are in the second week of Advent and preparing for the third Sunday of Advent. And so we've got our Advent wreath taken down from where it's suspended over the sanctuary so that you can have a better look at it. And Father Doug and I might be able to share some insights into why we even have Advent wreaths in the first place. Mm -hmm. So, Father Doug, as you're looking at that Advent wreath, yeah. what are some of the things as you uh, come into Mass that you're thinking about and the significance of such a thing in our sanctuary? Well, I think one of the big themes of Advent is the theme of hope. You know, it kind of, it kind of ties together. Advent starts looking forward to the second coming of Christ and our hope for that day when our Lord comes again and makes all things new. And Advent kind of ties together our waiting for the Messiah to return and the waiting of all those prophets through all those centuries as they waited for him to come the first time. It kind of pulls us, pulls us together that way. And so I think the candle is, uh, you know, an excellent sign of hope. Somebody who's, who's lighting a candle, who's staying up watching, isn't going to sleep because they're still waiting for something, something to happen. And so I think that's why that makes it a nice symbol for Advent, waiting for the Messiah. And I also love the candles too, and I think to myself about what's the significance of those candles. And you remember back on the first Sunday of Advent, we just lit one candle. And then the next week, we light another candle and it's a little bit brighter. And then this coming Sunday, we'll light the third candle, it'll be a little bit brighter. And then finally the fourth candle, and then finally on Christmas, the dawn from on high will break upon us and we will see the light of Christ coming at Christmas. And so for me, I love that idea of the candle as well, Padre. Uh, because it, it shows that God is constantly revealing himself to us. And uh, Advent is a time of progression. Father Doug talked in one of his uh, Coffee with the Collars about the liturgy, mm -hmm. about how when we see the, uh, the procession of the priests and the altar servers and the deacon come in, that it's almost like we are, we are on procession ourselves mm -hmm. uh, through life toward our time in heaven. Well, the same is true for Advent is that it's sort of a, a procession toward the light, mm -hmm. where week one, week two, week three, and week four, and finally the light comes upon us at Christmas time. Some other beautiful things I think about the Advent wreath are the berries. I love the berries in the wreath. Yeah. You see those red berries there, Padre? Oh, yeah, they're very nice. Um, it's sort of like we're anticipating almost, you know, the, the death of Christ, mm -hmm. uh, and of course his resurrection, uh, but also uh, the life of Christ because the greenery represents the life and the berries that are interspersed in there represent some of the difficulties that he has in his life and the sacrifice that he makes for us um, in his own martyrdom on the cross. It's kind of interesting, there's a parallel in the Christmas stories in the gospel. There's this message of great joy and of salvation, but there's uh, also certain indications of the, the suffering to come. So like the prophecy, uh, says to Mary that a sword will pierce her heart um, and even in the midst of her joy there's this looking forward to the cross that kind of ties Christmas and Easter together uh, you know if you will because he came and of course he came to suffer and to rise again for our salvation. Yeah that's a great point. So we're glad that you joined us this morning for Coffee with the Collar. So when you come back into Mass on Sunday, maybe you'll be able to take some of these uh, short reflections that Father Doug and I have shared as you look on the Advent wreath and continue on your journey toward, of course, the feast of Christmas. Padre, I gotta tell you, I'm so excited. Margie Horton provided this lemon poppy seed cake. Yeah, it looks because, excellent. Now, you, you say you know why she provided this for us. Well, I, I think there was some fear that the donuts we had a little while back were a little bit sad, so she wanted to provide us something to step up our game with here. So. Very good, so this is yours right here, Padre. There you go. I'm gonna slice myself off a little bit of this uh, cake here. And, Again, we're glad you joined us for Coffee with the Collars, and we look forward to seeing you next Friday. And let's continue in prayer as we prepare now for the Feast of Christmas.